I'm Father Raymond Kemp. I am a priest of the Archdiocese of Washington. Reverend Johnny Moore, I am an evangelical Christian leader, president of the Congress of Christian Leaders. So I'm Rabbi M. Bruce Lustig. I'm the senior rabbi at Washington Hebrew Congregation. Iftars that the ambassador has conducted at the embassy, incredible affairs. He got people from everywhere, from all over, not just Washington, D.C., but the United States, Jewish and Muslim and every religion that you can think of. When I walked in that room, you know, I, I, I saw something I'd rarely seen before in my life. I, I, I saw senior representatives of their religious communities uh, feeling not shy to gather together, but proud to gather together. I'm a Christian, I'm not a Muslim. I found the hospitality of this uh, United Arab Emirates embassy, a majority uh, Muslim uh, country, extending to me the same hospitality I would feel uh, if I went to my own you know, Easter service or, or, or Christmas service. I thought I had uh, understanding of what real, that radical hospitality is. There is this exceptional hospitality that's in the DNA of every individual that I've come across. I can remember sitting there talking to somebody I never would have talked to otherwise because the ambassador had the, the great good sense to bring people together around the table who could respect one another for their intelligence as well as for their desires. And that evening, from the ambassador's remarks to the other speakers, it was, it was crystal clear that the United Arab Emirates wanted to send a message to everyone in that room, whatever their religion, whatever their political affiliations, whatever projects they cared about or issues that they worked upon, that the UAE saw the best of faith as the solution to the worst of religion around the world, that the, the UAE was a country where religious people could feel at home to solve problems together. The United Arab Emirates have a capacity where the smallest in the world can become the unifier of the largest in the world. We sometimes like to think that uh, that sense of inclusivity is something that we've brought from the modern age. But I've been taught by experience that this type of hospitality is part and parcel of Islam, it is part and parcel of the UAE, and most importantly, it's a type of warmth that's so incredibly inviting. The UAE has brought people of faith together again and again and again, and they don't require that you leave aside your sincerely held religious beliefs. They welcome you as you are. I'm given incredible hope because the people who want to stand shoulder to shoulder with me, the people that want to mitigate hate and bigotry um, are uh, my friends from the United Arab Emirates who are working diligently to bring world and religious leaders together.